Hi Cardinals, it's Mrs. Carrera. Today we're going to read I Wish My Brother Was a Dog. I figured some of you are kind of um, going a little crazy with your siblings right now, so maybe this will help you. Okay? Alright, and did you see I'm wearing my Cardinal shirt today? Because today's Friday, so I thought maybe you'd like that. Alright, here we go. And this is written by Carol Diggory Shields and illustrated by Paul Measle. And here's a picture. See, he's built a really cool looking tower. And look who's coming over. You see that? It's a brother. All right. I wish my brother was a dog. Uh oh, look what his brother did. He knocked it all down. Andy, I'd like you a lot better if you were a dog. If you were a dog, I'd buy you some dog toys with my allowance. A chewy bone and lots of bouncy balls. You could play with them all the time and never, never, never touch my toys. See, he's talking to his little brother right here. And here, these are all his toys. And he has a sign. And the sign says, danger, my toys, do not touch. This means you. He's got sharks and a snake and a vulture to keep his brother away. Looks like he means business, huh? Andy, you'd have a lot more hair if you were a dog, and a lot more teeth, too. Then, you could be a watchdog. You could stay home and guard the house when Mom and I go out, all by ourselves. See you later, Andy. Oh. See, there's the baby brother with the locks. And there they are, waving goodbye. a dog, you wouldn't always be smushing your peas and squishing your applesauce and making a big mess at the table. You'd get to eat out of a nice red bowl with your name on it on the kitchen floor. And he's a good name for a dog. Oh, look, they're eating pizza at the table. And he put keep out. And over here is the brother eating out of a bowl right next to the cat. And it says right here, it says, no dogs allowed. Look, he made a border so he couldn't get in. It's not very nice, is it? Tricks, Andy. Dogs can do tricks. I could teach you to shake hands and beg and jump through a hoop. And we could play games like fetch and tug of war and frisbee. Well, he's thinking of everything, isn't he? There he is, throwing the frisbee. And there his brother is, trying to catch it over the crocodiles. We wouldn't have to listen to you cry anymore. If you were a dog, you could bark instead. And if you got too loud, we'd put you outside with, on the back steps. Poor brother Andy. Put him outside. You wouldn't have to sleep in my room in that squeaky crib anymore either. If you were a dog, you could sleep in the hall. Or we could build you a little house just the right size way, way out in the backyard. Look at that. That's Andy's dog house. Just think, Andy, if you were a dog, no more stinky diapers. <laughs> you could play out in the yard all afternoon if you were a dog. Dig holes and chase squirrels and roll in the mud. You wouldn't need a bath. We'd wash you off with a hose. Oh my goodness. Have you guys ever been washed off with a hose? <laughs> if you didn't feel good, we wouldn't fuss and worry and carry you around and say, poor little baby wavy. We'd take you to a vet, and he'd give you a shot. Uh-oh. Look at all the animals look so scared. I don't think they want shots. Look at Dr. Hyden, the shot behind his back. And if mom and dad and I went somewhere, you wouldn't need to ride in your car seat in the back or with me or stay at home with a grumpy babysitter. You could stay in a kennel. A kennel's like a dog babysitter. I don't think you should leave a baby brother with a kennel. If you were a dog, Andy, 
We could put you on a leash and take you to a dog show. You'd be the best dog there. You could show off all the tricks I taught you, and you might win a prize, Andy. Oh, look at all the people showing their dogs. And there he is with his brother who won first place. Look at that trophy. <laughs> And then somebody might want to buy you. I have it for sale for best in breed. And then at the end of the dog show, it says, see you next year. And he's saying, bye, Andy. Oh, my goodness. It would be real peaceful around here. No babies, no noise, no messed up toys. Oh, look at that. He looks very happy with his box of toys and a quiet carpet. No one to bug. Maybe too peaceful. Look, he built his whole tower, but now he's kind of bored. There's no one. But who do we see peeking around that corner? It's his brother. You know what, Andy? I'll just keep you if mom says it's okay. I'd take real good care of you because if you were a dog, Andy, I'd treat you like you were... What do you think he treats him like? My very own brother. Oh. There you go. So, if some of you are having troubles with your brother and sister, just think if they were a dog... You treat them like a brother and sister anyways. So, All right, Cardinals, I hope you have a great day. Please take care of any library books that you still have, and I will see you again next time. Bye.